Hello and welcome to this episode of Righteous Reform, where we talk about the right way to reform the sacred liturgy and bring back the millennial traditions of the Catholic Church, the thousand-year-old traditions and longer of the Catholic Church, you know, and they never should have been gotten rid of to begin with. So, Sunday best? Do people even still think about that or think in those terms? Look, I know people my age, I'm in my 50s, are still familiar with the concept of Sunday best, meaning your very best clothes or at least your nicer clothes that you would wear when you go to Mass on Sunday. My mom and dad always said, oh, got to get in your Sunday best, we're going to Mass. Unfortunately, what we see today, not even close. It's almost like people go out of their way to put on their Sunday worst when they go to Mass. They wear tank tops and flip-flops and shorts and mini skirts and Matter of fact, half the time it looks like they're going to the beach, not to the house of God, where it looks like today practically anything goes. And what about the clergy? What about the priests? Well, can they dress down too? What's the point of having them wear vestments in the liturgy? Why does Holy Mother Church say that the priest has to dress a certain way? Well, stay tuned for these answers in today's episode of Righteous Reform because we're going to go down the hall to the classroom and have Liturgy 101 about dressing for Mass, the priests and the laity, how we dress. It's up for Mass out of respect, of course, but most importantly, we show up dressed for Mass appropriately out of love even though some people insist on saying something like, well, love is blind, or love doesn't care what you're wearing. Well, that's just another example of the Church of Nice trying to undermine the importance of Mass and the theology behind it. Love does care what you're wearing. Of course it does. Oh, yes, it does. It cares about everything. Love drives us to do our very best and to pay extra attention to those small details that might seem unimportant. So, what kind of love do you have if you're wearing the same thing to Mass that you do when you're going to the gym? You either have little respect for Mass or very high regard for the gym. You figure that out. The point here is not how fancy your clothes look, not the point. You don't have to wear an Armani suit or a Bonobo suit for that matter. Each one of us can dress our very best for the Lord. It's also to watch the rest of this episode and, of course, the entire season of Righteous Reform, Righteous Reform, become a premium subscriber for just $10 a month. Now, as a premium subscriber to churchmilitant.tv, you get access to all kinds of programming, obviously including the full season of Righteous Reform, but all of our other programs. And we have hundreds of hours and dozens of different types of programs with many, many episodes covering theology and apologetics and history and liturgy and catechesis, everything, much, much more. So I'll ask you, what are you waiting for? You can become a premium subscriber today and help support and promote the Catholic faith on the internet, bring Christ to the internet, where we can all learn more about the beauty and the treasures and the richness of the Catholic Church in the process. And because the culture is so anti-church these days, you can actually become part of the Catholic resistance movement. God love you. I'm Michael Voris.